Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, we'll be doing the evaluation deck from uh, Hack the Book CTF from Hack the Box. So the Docker container is running, and we have a zip to download. After downloading, we will see the Python Flask app, and here we can see some blueprints, the home page, and slash API. And there is no other juicy information in this file. And in the routes, you will have one endpoint get underscore help. So this is being added to this API blueprint. So we need to go to API slash get help, and the method should be post. And we need and the web server is expecting some JSON data. So let's go to this website, and it's just some cards. So let's go to. get underscore help let's send this to repeater so if you do get request it says method not error so let's uh, right click on this change this request method and let's send this one and here it, it says invalid json so that means we, we need to send some json data and it is being stored in the data variable uh, i think it's uh, yes it's a data object so it's getting three uh, it is expecting three uh, parameters like three keys operator attack power and current health and all fields are required so let's go and do this current health uh, let's say 100 attack power 100 and operator so i don't know what exactly this operator means let's just send this operator let's say thousand so let's send this one and it still says invalid json So let's see the uh, remaining code and the result is equal you can see it is compiling a string into an expression and that expression is being executed so it is like a eval so the current health and operator and attack power so this this is like a mathematical expression so it is like uh, the current health let's say 50 and the operator let's say plus and the attack power 100 so the result will be stored in this code uh, as 150 so let's change this i think this is a string so let's send this one uh, It is saying invalid JSON, so we are getting stopped at this point. Okay, so let's change this one application slash json 
okay now we are good to go so 100 plus 100 is 200 so let's say 100 plus 11 it should give me the result 11 so we got somewhat uh, execution of mathematical statements expressions so what we need to do is we need to execute some uh, code so uh, the the current health is being rendered as int so this is f string so we cannot currently change this one so this is also uh, int the only thing that is accept being accepted as a string is the operator so we can press the strings here so if i press uh, the value of hash so that means i'm commenting out the right portion from the operator so let's go and put that one so let's put the hash that is comment in python and here we can see the message is 100 that is only current health so that means we successfully bypass it the right portion of the uh, expression so what we need to do is uh, uh, we need, we can say slash n and declare result is equals to something value so we can do that because uh, in python if you assign a value like integer to the variable and you can change this to string so there will be no errors because uh, these are like uh, dynamic type in other languages you need if you declare a variable of particular data type you cannot change that so what we can do is uh, we can say slash n and say result is equals to so that is the result here you can see the result value result is equals to and put single quotes and let's say hello world so if you send this one and you can see the hello world is being printed okay now we got the code execution uh, let's import os module and put slash n so this gives you the new line and os and result is equals to os dot p open of let's say command id dot read so the result of this id command will be stored in the result uh, variable and it will be displayed in the message so send this one and we can see the id command output so let's go and ls minus ls slash and we have the flag.txt you can go and fetch this flag.txt so we can see we got the flag 